Picnic Party Once upon a time in a large sunny meadow, a little girl named Mia decided to have a picnic. She was excited and wanted to invite some animal friends. She pondered for a while and then chose the lion, the rabbit, and the penguin for her special picnic. The lion, being the king of the jungle, felt he should bring the grandest dish. However, he wasn't sure how to prepare anything. The rabbit, known for his swiftness, wanted to gather the freshest ingredients. But, he was unsure about what food to collect. The penguin, coming from the cold poles, felt a bit out of place and was nervous about what he could contribute. Mia noticed their concerns. Don't worry, she smiled, we can all work together. So, Mia and the rabbit set off to gather vegetables and fruits. The lion used his strong paws to knead the dough for fresh bread. The penguin, with his cold flippers, was perfect for making a chilled fruit bunch. In no time, with everyone contributing and working together, they had a splendid feast ready. As they sat down on the blanket, the lion said, I've learned that even a king needs help sometimes. The rabbit nodded, and I've learned that it's not about how fast you can do something, but about doing it right with friends. The penguin chuckled, and I've realized that there's a special role for everyone, no matter where they come from. Mia clapped her hands in delight, today was perfect. Thank you all for your hard work and for making this picnic so special. So, in the sunny meadow, amidst laughter and delicious food, the picnic became a beautiful memory for the little girl and her animal friends. They all realized that when they worked together, they could achieve anything. And they promised to have many more picnics in the future. Moral, teamwork makes the dream work. The Kangaroo and Ben once upon a time, there was a little boy named Ben who lived in a small town in Australia. He loved to play in the forest, and he would often spend hours climbing trees or looking for animals. One day, Ben was playing in the forest when he saw a small kangaroo hopping along. The kangaroo was lost and looked very scared. Ben knew that kangaroos lived in Australia, but he had never seen one this far from home. Ben picked up the kangaroo and took it home with him. He gave it some food and water, and the kangaroo started to feel better. Ben named the kangaroo Joey, and they quickly became best friends. One day, Ben and Joey were playing in the park when they saw a group of children. The children were laughing and pointing at Joey, and Ben could tell that they were making fun of him. Ben was angry, but he knew that he had to be kind. Ben walked up to the group of children and said, It's not nice to make fun of Joey. He's my friend. One of the children said, Sorry. We didn't know he was your friend. Ben smiled and said, That's okay. Now, why don't you come and play with us? The children agreed, and they all played together for the rest of the day. Joey had a lot of fun, and he was glad that Ben had stood up for him. Ben and Joey continued to be best friends for many years. They had many adventures together, and they always looked out for each other. Ben was so glad that he had found Joey, and he knew that they would be friends forever. Moral of the story, it's important to be kind and accepting of others, even if they're different from you. The Midnight Music Class The serene town of Melody Meadows was abuzz with excitement. Mrs. Clare, a renowned music teacher, announced a special midnight music class where every participant could showcase their unique voice. Among the eager attendees were Ellie the Elephant, Sia the Squirrel, and young Lily, who adored singing. Ellie had a deep, resonating voice that echoed with grace. But she was nervous, fearing her voice might overpower others. Sia, with her tiny squeak, was equally anxious, thinking she might not be heard amidst the many strong voices. Lily, being human, found herself somewhere in between, 
not too loud and not too soft. The class began, and one by one, the animals showcased their melodies. Leo the lion roared a majestic tune, Peter the penguin chirped a sweet lullaby, and Harry the hippo hummed a gentle song. When it was Ellie's turn, she hesitated but then remembered Mrs. Clare's words, every voice has its own beauty. Gathering courage, she sang a beautiful ballad. The meadows seemed to sway with her rhythm. Sia, inspired by Ellie, gave her best chirp, a high-pitched tune that surprisingly complemented the deeper voices. Lily sang a soft lullaby she had learned from her mother, her voice bridging the gap between the powerful and the delicate. The end of the class, Mrs. Clare, with a tear in her eye, praised each participant. Today, we didn't just hear individual voices, we experienced a symphony. Each one of you, no matter how loud or soft, played a crucial role in creating this magical harmony. The attendees left with not just improved musical skills but a valuable lesson, every voice, big or small, has its unique place in the world's vast chorus. Moral, every voice matters, no matter how big or small. The Tiger and the Cat Upon a time, there was a tiger who lived in the jungle. He was the biggest and strongest animal in the jungle, and everyone was afraid of him. The tiger was very proud of his size and strength, and he thought that he was better than everyone else. One day, the tiger was walking through the jungle when he saw a small cat. The cat was very different from the tiger. He was small and weak, and he didn't look very scary. The tiger laughed at the cat and said, What are you doing here? This is my jungle, not yours. The cat was scared, but he didn't back down. He said, I'm here to live, just like you. And I'm not afraid of you. The tiger was angry. He roared and charged at the cat. But the cat was quick and agile, and he dodged the tiger's attack. The tiger chased the cat through the jungle, but the cat was always one step ahead of him. Finally, the tiger gave up. He was tired and hungry, and he realized that the cat was not afraid of him. The tiger said, I'm sorry for laughing at you. You're not so weak after all. The cat smiled and said, It's okay. I know that I'm not the biggest or strongest animal in the jungle, but I'm not afraid to stand up for myself. And that's what matters. The tiger and the cat became friends, and they learned that it's not what you look like on the outside that matters, but what's on the inside. Moral of the story it's not what you look like on the outside that matters, but what's on the inside. The Lion and the Monkey Once upon a time, there was a lion who lived in the jungle. He was the king of the jungle, and all the other animals were afraid of him. One day, the lion was walking through the jungle when he saw a monkey swinging from a tree. The monkey was laughing and having fun, and the lion was not amused. Why are you laughing? The lion asked the monkey. I'm laughing because I'm happy, the monkey replied. I don't have to worry about anything. I can just swing from tree to tree and have fun all day long. The lion was angry. You should be afraid of me, he said. I am the king of the jungle. I'm not afraid of you, the monkey said. You're just a big, dumb lion. The lion roared in anger. He was about to attack the monkey when he remembered something his mother had once told him. It is important to be kind to others, even if they are different from you, she had said. The lion took a deep breath and calmed down. You're right, he said to the monkey. I should not be angry with you. You are just a monkey, and you don't know any better. The monkey smiled. 
Thank you, he said. I'm glad you're not angry anymore. The lion and the monkey became friends, and they played together in the jungle every day. The lion learned that it was important to be kind to others, even if they were different from him. And the monkey learned that it was important to be respectful of others, even if they were bigger and stronger than him. Moral of the story, it is important to be kind to others, even if they are different from you. Everyone deserves to be treated with respect. Subscribe our channel.